Internet computer. Are the scaling issues real? Have they been addressed? Are they resolved? Are they ongoing? Well, that's what we're here to talk about. As far as whether or not internet computer has in fact scaling issues or not, I don't think that there is a question in terms of the validity of people expressing problems. The question really comes down to who's more correct. Is it Definity or is it some of these other developers? Wyroll for one and James Beadle as another as mentioned in the video previously. One of the things that I forgot to mention because I completely forgot about this altogether while recording the video is that Definity Manu specifically with the Definity team is saying that the new load is coming from Wyroll spinning up many heartbeat canisters. And we see here a reply stating, I thought that they only started doing that recently, not weeks ago. And James is referring to Wyroll and then somebody else saying, oh, they're running heartbeat canisters. Well, if that's the case, no wonder there's an issue because they'll all be trying to run on every round. And here we see somebody saying, hey, is there any update here? Proposals passed, but nothing changed on our side. It's even worse than before. A lot of our canisters are down or unreachable. Now, mind you, this is also from nine days ago. And today is October 16th, 2024. And still further down in the thread, somebody says that it seems that the release Definity done yesterday fixed all our issues on our side. We are back with compute allocation zero and update requests are working correctly. Before I continue, I just want to point out that Again, I have ICP. This is a bit lower than it was when I most recently showed it. And that's because I used some ICP to pay for open chat lifetime. And I also paid for one or two other very small things. And I currently have about 24 ICP sitting in my open chat wallet as shown here. And the reason that I'm showing this is because although shockingly, I didn't get a lot of nasty comments for yesterday's video about performance issues or potential performance issues. There were one or two comments about why are you fudding, you know, that kind of thing. And the point here is that I didn't stake over $20,000 worth of crypto in something that I have no conviction in. You know, just because somebody points something out that could in fact be a problem doesn't make it FUD. And, you know, somebody else said, you know, how much are they paying you? Well, it's understandable that the majority of people that come across one of my videos probably isn't familiar with a whole bunch of my videos or with me personally. But when people make unfounded assumptions, baseless assumptions, and just sort of straw man, that gets pretty old pretty quick. Anyway, moving on. As far as the statement that Definity's fix that they implemented yesterday seems to have helped out a lot. I, I'm not sure if Definity actually did anything or not. And even checking the proposals, I, I don't see anything that clearly indicates to me that Definity made any real change in that time frame. And in fact, most of these executed proposals, I don't even know what they're for. Because, you know, we, when we look at one, and so yeah, it says deploy guest OS or operating system to all subnet nodes. Okay, fantastic. But, and they have a subnet ID and they have a replica version ID and there's an update that, I mean, this stuff is all Greek to me. I, I don't, like, even if I were to follow these links or look up the subnet, I seriously doubt that there's enough information there that I personally will understand to be able to verify if, oh yeah, that was Definity and they made a change to Heartbeat or to Scheduler or or to the cost of compute or storage, thereby addressing the issues with tens of thousands of heartbeat canisters deployed by Wyrl. And again, just to quote one of the forum members here, at a high level, folks should be backing off of timers, especially heartbeats. This wasn't great architecture before, and it is even worse now. I've been saying for a while that the IC is a new kind of computing platform, and it requires going back to the base metal and building up new kinds of software that takes its unique properties into account. 
And just to take a look at some of the comments here in the video about performance problems recently released, if we scroll down here, this person is saying that they deployed a fix. I don't know who he's referring to by they. Is that Definity? Is that some other community member? Is that viral? You know, I, I don't know because they are not being specific about who they are. But they say that they deployed a fix to one subnet yesterday and it seems to have fix the issue. I'm hoping they prioritize scaling a lot more now and forget about AI for a while. So based on that last bit, they must be referring to Definity. But again, I haven't been able to find on forums.definity.com or in the proposals what the fix was and to which specific subnet and what the outcome is or, or anything like that. But they go on, you know, somebody asked, they fixed the issue with viral. Yes, but only on one subnet. It looks like the fix went well and I can confirm the canisters me and my team deployed are not suffering the issue anymore. Over time, the other subnets will get the same fix. However, DF, which I assume means Definity Foundation, still need to prioritize heartbeats and the scheduler since the fix might not be the silver bullet. And here's another comment claiming that this issue was brought up in 2021 and they said they were fixing it shortly. Now a dev is saying that they shouldn't build with a one canister per user model. Hate to be that guy, but what's the point of ICP? How many times has Dominic said each person will have their own AI running as a canister smart contract? And here is another interesting comment. Developer had a poor design from the start. I assume they mean viral. Canister is a project, not a user. My worry, NNS may not be aware of these shortfalls by bad design and allow changes that shouldn't be agreed. And I also had a similar feeling, like if, if something is causing a problem, problem, I would think that there would be some sort of automated mechanism to alert the NNS to maybe take some sort of automated action, quarantine the processes, shut them down, you know, do something rather than just, well, you're dominating the subnet, sucks to be everybody else. Because like, what is this? Like GoDaddy shared web hosting? Now here in the documentation for Internet Computer, it reads that heartbeats are a legacy periodic canister invocation with intervals close to the blockchain finalization rate. Heartbeats are supported by ICP for backward compatibility and some very special use cases. Newly developed canisters should prefer using timers over the heartbeats. And of course, above all that, it reads there are two ways to schedule an automatic canister execution on ICP. The aforementioned described heartbeats and the aforementioned timers. Timers are single execution expiration or periodic canister calls with specified minimum timeout or interval. A canister can implement multiple timers. Each timer will receive a unique ID to identify it within the context of the canister. And then of course there is some additional information about heartbeats which doesn't really tell me personally a whole lot as I am not a blockchain developer. In fact, I'm not a developer. I can recognize some of these things just because I have had some programming classes, but I don't really have any skill, right? So it looks like this is, as it indicates, a system function being the heartbeat, asynchronous sync, I assume. If the count equals or maybe doesn't equal zero, then await ring. I, I don't you know, know what exactly that means, but this looks like a loop. And then the count, I'm assuming this means that it increments one, got a variable up here, and maybe let is a constant that's being specified. You know, I'm again, I'm not a developer, so, you know, I couldn't program my way out of wet paper bag to save my life, but there is some code that I can read and recognize. I probably didn't read any of this correctly, but no matter. And of course, there's even more documentation talking about heartbeat and timers currently not enforced but will be enforced in the future after the canister logging feature is available without canister logging it is difficult for developers to debug failures in heartbeat
beats and timers. That's interesting. I, I wonder if that was a significant contributing factor to what was going on with Wyroll. Now, many people say that it's really just Wyroll being bad and they might be correct. I just don't have enough information to speak very intelligently to that point. I will put links to these things in the video description so that if you want to go and check them out for yourself, I'll make it easy for you to do that. And unfortunately, because of the transactions haven't been as high as they have been previously, and the cycle burn rate is also not as high as it has been recently, that means that the burn hasn't been as favorable as it was just a couple weeks ago. We see here that there are far less cycles being burned than minted, which of course in turn means there is far less ICP being burned than being minted at the this time. Something else that I think is relevant to the overall conversation is the Juno build SNS DAO swap failed and the developer David is considering three options. Retry with a lower ICP target, continue hacking away, programming, coding a bit longer, or just give up and kill Juno. Now, one of the things that I did find interesting here is scrolling through, we see the one and only Dominic Williams saying, keep trying, it's a great project, which in turn makes me wonder how much Definity went ahead and committed to the SNS, if anything. Also makes me wonder if there is an easy way to look that up somehow. And at the moment, I'm not sure. However, Juno is, to my understanding, it's a kit to help developers develop. And apparently developing on internet computer isn't quite as easy as Definity might want to make it sound. In fact, even James Allen of Cityscape, who is a blockchain developer, who has had some experience coding and developing on Ethereum, Cardano, and internet computer, and is currently working on a social media application by the name of Cityscape on on internet computer even commented that in the future he may decide to create some videos helping to clarify things for up and coming developers because the documentation is spotty and unclear and not great and i also saw a comment on the definity forum basically saying the same thing from james beetle which makes me wonder how bad it is but the reality is if i try to read it in program i'm going to have all kinds of trouble because I'm not a developer. Now, as far as Definity supporting Juno, someone did state, you are building crucial infrastructure for ICP. Why doesn't Definity give you grants? To which the developer responded, I had a grant this year. And there are mixed opinions about this SNS failure. You know, some people are saying, try again. Other people, I, I saw in another place, James Beadle saying he shouldn't have to ask for less, meaning David shouldn't ask for less. He's worth every penny and you should be grateful that he's even doing this, which could be true, but I feel like that's an awfully bad way of stating something if you are trying to win anybody over. Also, David doesn't state here how much the grant was. That information might be available someplace, but evidently it either wasn't enough to keep the project going or at least not enough to appease him. As far as just my own personal observations, when I saw the SNS pop up for Juno within the NNS the other day, actually, I guess a couple weeks ago at this point, and I saw that the minimum request was 200,000 ICP. Keep in mind that an $8 price point for ICP means that he was asking for a minimum of $1.6 million, which might be reasonable. I'm not, I'm not sure if it is or not. But then he also got apparently one or more grants from Definity this year on top of that. And I didn't know that at the time when I first read the SNS, all I know is I thought, wow, so the dude wants nearly $2 million at a minimum. It just struck me as being kind of a lot, but that's just, you know, really a baseless opinion. It's just the impression that I had. Anyway, with that all said, as far as the performance issues experienced recently, evidently due to viral deploying heartbeat canisters and Bob.fun just going crazy.
crazy with mining. I'm going to stand by what I said previously, which is that I'm glad these things came up now because it would really kind of not be great, right, for some major player. Like, let's say somebody creates a payment system on ICP, even though ICP may or may not be the most ideal place to build such a thing. I tend to think that with ICP's capabilities, a developer should be able to develop pretty much anything on ICP. But again, I'm not a developer, so maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But let's just say that somebody developed a payment system on ICP. And let's say that a major player like, I don't know, PayPal or Facebook or somebody, Google, Visa, MasterCard, you know, somebody out there decided to use that system to process payments. And then they scale it to, I don't know, 18 million people. And then a subnet or two or three comes to a crawl. That I think would be a whole lot more damaging to internet computer and to Definity and to all of the holders than to have what happened recently with Viral and Bob.fun. So I think that it is actually a very bright silver lining. And I hope that they get the 64-bit Wasm rolled out soon. And I hope that something serious comes to internet computers soon, both to increase the burn, onboard more users, increase adoption, but also to reintroduce effectively another stress test to see where we are at. You know, like, if OpenChat suddenly went to 25 million users, can internet computer really handle it? They say it can, but to my knowledge, it's never really been put to the test yet. And yeah, a real test case might be very difficult to create in an artificial environment. I get that. Even though I'm not a developer, I, I get that. But the bottom line is... You know, you hear people mention that internet computer is proven, therefore Utopia is worth getting. But yet, is it proven? I mean, other than OpenChat, what other fully operational app with five or 10,000 users or more is there? Serious question, by the way. Not FUD, just a question.